How's it going, my Neo M friends? Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about one of the fundamental aspects of Vim and Neo Vim, which is buffers, windows, and tabs. And so understanding how these work and how to manipulate them and having a general knowledge of, of how they work will help you to navigate around and be able to add shortcuts and understand things at a fundamental level so that you can build upon that. If you like videos like this, definitely hit that subscribe button and let's jump into it. The first thing that I wanna talk about is buffers. These, if you're used to another editor like VS Code or IntelliJ, are gonna be similar to the file tabs that you have up at the top. For me, you can see at the very bottom, I have the Lua line installed and so I can see the file that we have open. And if we wanted to open up a new file, then we could do something like go into our EX here and open up a new file. And you can see we have another file opened. Now you can install other plugins that will give you the tabs at the very top, but buffers are open files. And these files are read into memory, they're read into registers. And so you have them sitting in your editor so you can jump between them. And one way to jump between them is you can do colon and b previous this will jump to your previous buffer and you can see we're in the file that we were just in if we wanted to go back we could do b next and we can see that again now i have telescope installed and so i can do fb after i do a leader key fb and i can see hey these are the two files that I have open and jump between them so that's another way that you can map those the next thing I want to talk about is Windows. And so for Windows, if we wanted to do either a V split here, so you can see I have two different windows and I have a plugin that will automatically resize them. And so right now we have the same buffer open in two different windows and able to manipulate them. If I wanted to open up a different buffer in my left hand window, I can do this, open up index, and there we go. I have two different buffers in two different windows. And the really awesome superpower of Vim is you can open up as many of these windows as you want, and then you can modify them, you can move them around. It's so like if I wanted to have the file on the right, on the left side, I can do Control W and then H, and it'll flip those files. Now, if I wanted to resize the window on the left, I can do Control W and left arrow. And you can see it moves pretty slowly. Uh, normally you would map this to a different keyboard shortcut. Uh, I don't have it mapped at the moment, but then you can hold it and like get back and forth and not have to do it one by one here very slowly. You can also resize horizontally, which again, you basically stay on your keyboard. You aren't moving your mouse a whole lot and you get everything on your home row, which is really nice. One thing I wanna mention here is whenever you have the same buffer open, let's say I have this index TSX open on both sides, so each of these has the same buffer open in the window. If I close the split, and so if I do colon Q, I can close that and it will go away. If we wanted to bring it back, we could do control W and V. Then if I wanted to close the buffer, I could do colon BD, and what this will do is close the buffer. We're gonna see the window on the right go away, and I believe we have another buffer open, so it'll show up on the left-hand side. And we do, we see that, and so we only have one buffer showing up. Now, if we did another split here of the same buffer, this is the last one that we have open, and we did colon BD again, which is closing our buffer, then we end up with nothing. We would have to open up a new file because we don't have any files loaded into our buffers at the moment. So this is having no files open and nothing in memory. So if we wanted to open something up, we would just do that. Again, we have our buffer here and we're good to go. The next thing I wanna talk about is tabs. And so tabs are gonna be a little bit different and they're gonna be a set of windows that are open in a different section. And so if we, Again, have our vertical split here, and let's open up you know, that globals file. And so we have these two buffers open up. If we do a tab E and then a dot, we can open up, let's try our package JSON here. And so you can see at the top, I have a plugin to where you can actually click on the different tabs and go back and forth. And you can see these are completely separate. So I can actually open up one of those same buffers over here, 
where I have global CSS, but it doesn't impact what we have going on on this side. So if you want to open up something, see it completely differently and be able to flip between it, tabs are the way to go and be able to split them in different windows and manipulate them. Again, this is one of the superpowers of Vim and being able to manipulate buffers in any of your different windows or tabs but still having them separate so you can visually see and do what you need to do. To flip between the tabs, you just do GT and you're back here. You can also click like I mentioned. If I wanted to open up, let's say a new buffer and let's open up our Docker Compose and I wanna take this window and I wanna put it onto a new tab. So I can do that with Control W and T and now I have that whole new window here in this section and what that did is you saw we had the window over here in the first tab and that took that whole window and moved it into a separate tab so there's these different keyboard shortcuts to be able to jump between the different tabs and also move those windows and manipulate them and open buffers within the windows really awesome stuff and i hope this helped your understanding so you have these building blocks to build upon and create awesome things if you like videos like this definitely hit that like button and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.